This is Jeff at Zoller Pumps Center for Excellence in Louisville, Kentucky. In this video, we're going to look at some frequently asked questions about the APAC high water alarm. It is assumed that you've already watched the other videos about APAC, especially connecting the Z-Control APAC to the cloud. If you can't see the APAC's SSID listed in your Wi-Fi settings, you probably need to reset the APAC. You do this by holding the silence button while plugging in the AC adapter's barrel connector. Let go after about three seconds. This wipes out any saved Wi-Fi info that the APAC had. Now check the list of available Wi-Fi again. If you've connected to the APAC but the setup screen has not appeared, you may need to open a browser and type either zconfig.com or 192.168.125.1. Either of these addresses will bring up the Wi-Fi setup screen. If you have a new router, you'll need to erase the current Wi-Fi settings in the APAC and enter your new Wi-Fi settings. Do this by holding the silence button while plugging in the AC power barrel adapter. Then let go after three seconds. If you've entered the password, but the Z-Control LED has stayed flashing and doesn't go solid, then the APAC is not connected to the cloud. APAC is not connected to the Z-Control cloud until the LED is solid. If it continues to flash for more than a couple minutes, something may be wrong. The most common mistake is the wrong password or a mistyped password. Upper and lower caps do matter. Double check even if you're sure. It is not uncommon to be convinced of a password and then realize for whatever reason it is the incorrect password. Check with your network administrator to verify that there is not some other network restriction in place. Make sure your router doesn't use WEP security. WEP is not secure and Zoller's Z-Control devices are not designed to connect to WEP. Z-Control devices will also not connect to routers with no security. Strong security is a must for our customers. The blue Z-Control LED on my APAC is solid, but when I go to my Z-Control cloud account, I don't see my APAC tile. This is most likely because you haven't added the APAC to your account yet. Next to the location you want to add the APAC, click the gear, choose Add New Device, and follow the instructions. I'm only getting notifications to the email address I use to create my account. Your account email is automatically used by Z-Control for notification. To add and verify contacts, click the menu icon in the upper right corner. If you haven't received any email notifications or verifications for your Z-Control enabled device, most likely the verification email has gone to your junk folder. Be sure to check your junk folder and allow email from zcontrolcloud.com. Double check the spelling of the email address you submitted to zcontrolcloud.com. If your alert history contains many offline and restored entries, your router may be intermittently losing its internet connection or your APAC alarm is not getting a strong Wi-Fi signal from the router. Move the two devices closer together or purchase a Wi-Fi range extender from an electronics store. I silence my alarm, but then it starts beeping again a day later. The silence feature keeps the alarm from beeping for 24 hours. If the high water or other event is over, you may want to reset the APAC by holding the silence button for three seconds. My APAC is indicating that it is in alarm even though the float is down. Check that your sensor's wires aren't shorting. Inspect the connection and be sure the wires aren't frayed and reaching across and touching the other terminal screw or that they are not stripped too long and touching behind the terminals. I want to use my APAC with batteries only, but I keep getting a power out LED and alarm. You need to reset your APAC to only expect batteries. Do this by removing both AC and DC power, wait 30 seconds, 
then only reinsert DC power. To use the alarm as an AC and DC alarm, which is recommended, simply apply both types of power. To use as an AC only alarm, hold the silence button while powering up the alarm for about five seconds until the green power LED turns on. The APAC will not alarm for low or no batteries in this mode. To use as an AC DC alarm again, just insert batteries. My sensor won't snap into the included hanging bracket. Sometimes people are confused as to how this bracket attaches to the sensor. Just loosen this nut and slide it over the cord and down over the threads. Then tighten the nut back up. Tighten that down and then you'll be able to clamp it to the pipe. Why doesn't your reed sensor have a protective cage? The environment of a sump means there's occasionally debris in the water. This debris can get hung up in the slots of a protective cage. Therefore, our reed sensor does not have one. I want my contractor or sister or next door neighbor to receive alerts about my product also. You can either add this person's phone number or email address to the manage contacts section or you can share your device with that person. To share the device, you'll click the gear under device settings and follow the instructions. In this video, we've gone over some frequently asked questions about the APAC high water indoor alarm. If you have other questions or would like to see other videos, go to zollerpumps.com.